Hello everyone, Espy here. Now, what I have today have a game on TC Eeltail, where we're watching the C Junior. Looking at the comps, they have three anchors, you're a C Junior, all you have to do is torpedo them. C Junior is very good at, uh, like, countering slower anchors, something like a Dynamo or Leaders or whatever, all that stuff. Uh, your team doesn't have any paint, except for you. You gotta paint for them. So, torpedo the back lines or the anchors. And paint for your team. The other way, let's go into the game. Oh, so your sticks. Okay. Alright, let's see. Push up, push up. I will mention though, this person did say that like, uh, they don't play sticks. Or they do play sticks because of motion sickness and all that stuff. Fair enough. You should have been sniped there, to be honest. Uh, you're needlessly exposing yourself to the charger. Just stay back. Your torpedoes have a lot more range than you realize. Also, you're not paying for your team. You're oh, way over focusing torpedoes. Yeah, and you're just gonna get pushed here. Yeah, it was not time for your team to push in. What in rule of thumb is in order for you to push tower or do the objective, your team needs to be in front of it. If they're not in front of it, you're just gonna die the moment the objective pushes up. Let's see, torpedo and bomb, and it's paint, paint, or run, I guess. Yeah, but yeah, paint. Be sure to paint. Be sure to paint. Be sure to paint. Be sure to no 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 no. Yeah, it's not time to push up. It's not time to push up. It was time to paint. So it's not worth just going onto tower and hoping that. Uh... Okay. I'll say this. Even if you are physically able to get to tower, that does not mean it is time to get on tower. The fact that you're physically able to get on ta to get to the objective doesn't really ma mean anything. What it, what you really should be doing is you should be thinking, okay, is the is the enemy team far back enough from the objective that I'm not gonna be like uh, running away from my team when I start like you know doing the objective when the tower is actually pushing forward? Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, this ain't a good spot. You're gonna die. Never mind. You're gonna die to the. Where's the rest of the dynamo? Oh, there, there they are. Okay. Do they have? Yeah, no, they don't. Okay. Anyways, it seems like you're not really focusing on painting at all. I don't know if that's even like a thing you process or like are consciously think about, thinking about. Because you are, okay, you're a support weapon. Your job is to want, well, help your team. But you help your team, your weapon helps your team by painting. So you need to make sure that uh, you're painting for your team and trying to like uh, you know, make sure they can move around, make sure they can take their fight, take good fights. Back off. Yeah, no. All right, let's see. So, paint around, move up. Yeah, you need to get to get to mid now. Painting. Your base like that doesn't really matter too much. You want to go, you want to paint where the fight's happening. Now let's see. Just paint, just paint. Okay, you can back up a little bit. Yeah, it's fine now. All right, paint, paint, paint. Pop that. Yeah, okay. Get on tower because you're the best weapon for that. They should give you tower. Throw bombs. Paint. No, wait, paint, paint, paint. Oh, hmm. You're really flank unaware. You really aren't too aware about of flanks. It's kind of windy today. Anyways, you want to paint the map. There's there's not really a point to uh, what is it like a sharking on the tower? Because like they know you're on tower. They know where you're probably gonna be. If if they're shooting both left and right side of tower, they know you're gonna be behind the pole. So if you're just hiding, all you're doing is you're just making it easy for the enemy to kill you. Instead, if you're to be tossing bombs and painting around, then you'd at least be doing something while being suppressed on tower. Anyways, move in, throw a bomb, and paint. That's what you need to do. Okay, now you need to paint. Your team's losing control. Yeah, you gotta make sure they can take good fights. And... Alright, you got him. You're gonna get on? 
I would advise against it. Yeah, okay, good, good. You back. You go back and help your team. That's good. Being a good support. Hmm. Pop it. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, now this is the only time in the actual game where you can actually go in. Go in. Get those kills. Uh, okay, they missed. You get it. Now come back. There you go. I... <laughs> It's funny. That is the only time in this act, in this uh, set, not set, uh, game, where you could actually be aggressive and go in as a C junior. Every other time would have been a bad idea, but that was the only time. Really, I think the biggest thing you need to realize is that your weapon is able to, like, if you notice that uh, there's a lot of enemy ink around you, then yeah, paint the map, paint, paint by your teammates, paint around them, because even if uh, you're playing, they're playing a weapon, like your teammates are playing a weapon that paints really well, something like the splash. It's still helpful to have someone paint behind you and paint around you because that means you still have your mobility. And you know, you can still move around, dodge shots, and all that stuff. In summary, uh, paint the map, it's really helpful. So, that out of the way. See y'all.